Hey guys, I was out today, um, and uh, my uh, parents actually came out to give me a hand cutting firewood, and uh, so uh, usually this uh, usually March month is the time uh, where the snow settles and you can get out on a snowmobile and access the woods easier and uh, and manage to cut your firewood. So um, this year has just been a crazy winter, endless snowstorm after snowstorm. Uh, it's been like it everywhere in eastern Canada. And uh, so while out um, cutting wood, um, got the Viking Professional. It's about a an 800 pound workhorse snowmobile. And um, I recommend anybody out there with larger machines, even the wide tracks, even the ones that are meant for trailblazing, pick up uh, pick up a portable winch like this one. You'll see it in action in, in this video. This particular one is a 2,000 pound. Comes with the hand crank, as you can see there on the left. Uh, if the battery or whatever happens to uh, malfunction and you've got no other way of, of getting out. But anyway, it's portable. It's got the alligator clips there, as you can see. Uh, 20 feet of cable. And also comes with 20 feet of cable for the uh, remote, for the on and off switch for activating and using the winch. Super compact, comes with a carrying handle. It's 27 pounds altogether. You can see on the top, there's a, that's the mounting bracket. Uh, that just locks in, it's got sleeves. Come on, focus. Anyway, it's got sleeves and, and it, um, it's just, you can hook it up to um, your tongue on your receiver, on, on, your, on your hitch. Um, or, you know, there's numerous, there's endless possibilities of mounting, uh, um, you know, aspects. So it is portable. Anyway, great tool. You'll see it in action in this video. It's the first time it's ever been used. Um, and, um, uh, I'm super happy with it. Uh, can get you out of a jam, uh, for anyone, <laughs> anyone that has a week back or anybody that doesn't want a week back. Um, I think that I, I think I got that less than $70 taxes in 2000 pound winch can't go wrong so anyways without further ado uh, I'm just getting ready now as you can tell on my laptop I'm getting ready to, uh, to upload these uh, these videos and do the edit so um, it was a great day like I say lots of uh, lots of dry juniper was cut today and um, it's gonna be lots more cut uh, before the snow goes so uh, I'm hoping to get two years uh, supply uh, within the next coming weeks and uh, tomorrow hoping it's supposed to be one degree and sunny westerly prevailing winds hoping to get out and do some ice fishing I haven't done a whole lot of ice fishing I haven't done a whole lot of anything this winter other than operating the snowblower for like six eight hours a day clean up storm after storm so anyway I'm not going to keep this any longer I'll uh, share with you uh, the adventure today with my family First time using the 2,000 pound portable winch. It's under that small spruce. It's working well. Look out of that hole. Well, continue winching and get it out. Wood, dry juniper. I like it when it's nice and light color and white. There's no bark. I'm using the MS290 still. Farm saw. It's a 57 and a half cc. 
lots of power. 16 inch bar on this one. It's uh, plenty big for here on the island. As you can see, all kinds of dry ones along the edge of this, uh, this marsh here. So I'll have the uh, next couple of years wood cut. Hopefully before the snow is all gone. We got some help. As you take all the limbs, I use that for kindling. Not much that I don't leave behind in the woods. Anyway. We're gonna come down there next. Yeah, so that split stuff that was uh, what was cut last fall. That's a lot of those mainly spruce windfalls. This is all dry juniper. How do we cut today? Nice and clean. Most of the bark is gone. Pretty straight, no twists. And like I say, I like that lighter stuff. It's gray and uh, very light color on the inside. It burns a long time with really good heat. I like dry juniper. I uh, prefer that the best. You don't have to overload your stove and you get a good heat out of it. So and That's the smaller stuff there in the kindling. So yeah. Just a few hours today, so I'll finish off with this tear and then we'll start the